In today's episode, you will learn how to control the speed and direction of the CD-ROM stepper motor using 2-axis joystick, L298 in motor driver and Arduino. The stepper motor control system can be activated and deactivated using the joystick push button. The same program and circuit connection can be used for the other types of the stepper motors. For the extreme basics, you can watch my Getting Started tutorials on the bipolar and unipolar stepper motors, 2-axis joystick and L2918 motor driver. So I highly recommend first you should watch these tutorials and then you can resume from here. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the complete circuit diagram designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. Regardless of the type and size of the stepper motor, the basic working principle of all the stepper motors is exactly the same. The circuit diagram as you can see on the screen will remain the same for all types of the stepper motors. As the stepper motor I'm using has current requirement less than 4 amps, so that's why I decided to use the L298 in motor driver. The L298 and motor driver is basically designed for controlling simple DC motors. In my previous tutorials, I used this motor driver for controlling the robot. As the L298 in motor driver has the ability to control two DC motors at the same time, and as you know, a stepper motor has four wires, so it means we can use the L298 in motor driver to control a unipolar or bipolar stepper motor. You might be thinking, what about the unipolar motors as they have six wires? Well, the common wires are not connected. So the unipolar stepper motor connection with the L2918 motor driver is exactly the same as the bipolar stepper motor. As you can see in the circuit diagram, the four wires of the stepper motor are connected with the OUT1, OUT2, out 3 and out 4. While the input pins of the L2918 motor driver are connected with the Arduino pin number 8, 9, 10 and 11. The enable pins of the L2918 motor driver by default comes with the jumper capes. So make sure you remove the jumper capes and connect the enable pins with the Arduino pin number 6 and pin number 7. J1 is the DC female power jack. This is where we connect the external 12 volt or 5 volt power supply. And finally, connect the VCC of the L2918 motor driver with the Arduino's 5 volt. The VRX and VRY pins of the joystick are connected with the analog pins A0 and A1. The switch is connected with the Arduino's pin number 4. 
The VCC pin of the joystick is connected with the Arduino's pin number 5 while the ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. Let me tell you once again if you are using stepper motors with current ratings greater than 4 amps then never use the L298 in motor driver. Now let's have a look at the pinout of the L298 in motor driver. This is the L298 in motor driver which I will be using for control the speed and direction of the stepper motor. As you can see all the male headers and terminal blocks are clearly labeled. The DC female power jack positive wire is connected with the positive terminal block and the ground wire is connected with the ground and also make sure you connect this ground with the Arduino's ground. The plus 5 volt terminal block is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. The ENA and ENB pins are connected with the Arduino's pin number 6 and pin number 7. The N1, N2, N3 and N4 pins are connected with the Arduino's pin number 8, 9, 10 and 11. These connections will remain the same for all the types of the stepper motors. Now to control any stepper motor, we will simply connect the four wires of the stepper motor with the out one, out two, out three and out four. Later we can use this motor in some other project. While the digital multimeter is set on the continuity, check the coil's continuity. All the connections are done as per the circuit diagram is explained. Now let's have a look at the Arduino's programming. I start off by including the stepper.h header file. Then I defined two pins for the enable A and enable B of the L298 in motor driver. Make sure you remove the jumper capes and connect the ENA and ENB with the Arduino's pin number 6 and pin number 7. Integer joystick underscore power is equal to 5. Connect the VCC pin of the joystick with pin number 5 of the Arduino. The VRX and VRY pins of the joystick are connected with the airlock pins A0 and A1. Then I defined two variables of the type integer to store the values coming from the VRX and VRY. Integer joystick underscore switch is equal to 4. The joystick push button is connected with pin number 4 of the Arduino. This button will be used to activate and deactivate the stepper motor control system. Then I defined a variable state of the type boolean and set it to false. Integer switch underscore flag is equal to zero. This will be used to stop the unnecessary repetition of the code. 
integer stepper underscore motor underscore LD is equal to 13. This LD will be used as an indication whether the stepper motor control system is active or not. Initially, I set steps to 4, but you can also try these different values. In the write setup function, I simply set the speed of the stepper motor, activated the serial communication while keeping the baud rate at 9600. This will be used only for the debugging purposes. By default, keep the ENA and ENB low. The joystick underscore power is set to output and is set to high to provide 5 volts to the joystick VCC pin. The VRX and VRY pins are set to input as we will be reading from these pins. The joystick push button is set to input. The LED is set to output and is turned off by default. Then starts the while loop function. This condition is used to check if the joystick push button is pressed or not. Each time the push button is pressed, the state is changed from false to true and from true to false. Then these two conditions are used to activate and deactivate the L298 in motor driver. And each time the flake status is changed so that these instructions are not executed again and again. This condition is used to check if the state is true, then simply run the joystick function. The joystick is a user-defined function. It has no return type, and it does not take any arguments as the input. First, we read the VRX pin of the joystick using the analog read function and store the value in variable VRX underscore data. Then using the serial.println function, we print the value on the serial monitor to check the range of values. When the joystick is in normal condition, we get a value which is greater than 490 and less than 510. So this condition means if the joystick is not moved, then simply deactivate the l 2918 motor driver. While the joystick is moved in the forward direction and the value is greater than 510 and less than 1000, then activate the driver. Set the speed 20 and keep the step 1. While if the value is greater than 1000, then simply change speed to 700. Similarly, for the reverse movement of the joystick. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.